I never know quite how I'm going to feel when I wake up in the morning. Um, it can be anything from um, sort of waking up and feeling sluggish, which is quite often it takes me a while to sort of get going. And I've always got um, aches and pains when I wake up. Um, I always have to have some sort of rest in the day, either by having the whole morning in bed and then coming um, to sort of later on, or perhaps going out doing some shopping or something, um, you know, um, perhaps making making lunch or whatever. And, and you know, even sort of even hoovering a room can sh completely tire me out and I have to sort of have a sleep afterwards or a lie down. I'm a piano teacher and I only teach um, six pupils now. I've had to cut down um, because of my health and when I was teaching in schools I was picking up one bug after another um, because my immune system's quite suppressed. I wouldn't want to give up teaching completely because I really enjoy doing it and I want to do it for as long as I possibly can. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer and it was so uh, I just moved to Wales and I'd given up my um, self-employed teaching practice in London. I felt I was sort of finished really musically and, and that I wasn't able to sort of go out and play um, and travel around like I, I was before. And, and also I, I in a way turned my back on the piano to a certain extent because I think it became too painful to play uh, because it's so much part of my life. But since being diagnosed with the secondaries um, four years ago, I've rediscovered my passion for music. Last year, on a whim, I auditioned for um, the BBC um, National Chorus of Wales, an amateur choir, um, but with professional orchestra. And um, I was thrilled to get in. I was not expecting it at all. And um, then I was asked, to, the first concert was the Verdi Requiem at the um, Albert Hall at the Proms last July. And it was amazing, just amazing experience. For me, I, I never know whether I can actually do achieve these things in that I didn't even know if I could stand for the length of time required but I just do what I can at the time and I know that you know if it doesn't work out I'll you know I'll just <laughs> I'll just have to stop doing what I'm doing and but I won't sort of stop planning or, or say oh I'm not going to do that in case I don't get well I just you know I, I think well you know I, I'm an adult I can speak up if I'm not feeling very well people will understand. I, I have a very full social life I, I love to um, sort of have lunch with people and people around for coffee and that sort of thing when I can and if I've got something going on in the evening um, then I try and rest in the day probably in the afternoon I'm not very good at making myself sleep in the day but I, I do feel much better for it usually and then it allows me to sort of perhaps be much brighter in the evening so that I can go out because I do enjoy going to the theatre, going to concerts, particularly classical concerts, and, and being as normal as I possibly can, but having to allow for the fact that my health can be very up and down, but it doesn't stop me planning for things. And I've stopped the sort of guilty thought that, oh, people won't like it if you know, I let them down or whatever, because people understand, they're completely you know, fine with it, you know, and no, I, I don't just sort of um, have to cancel willy-nilly, they're just um, pleased that uh, you know, I want to sort of go out and want to keep things as normal as possible. I really find it great to have lots of things to look forward to um, all the time so that when I'm not feeling so well, um, I've got something coming up very soon. It just makes me feel better and, and uh, even if I'm not feeling that great, you know, there's something to focus on other than my illness.